Taking their final steps into the ocean, this trio of turtles is finally home. Yeah, nature turns on as soon as they can smell that salt water again and, you know, they're just, their DNA takes over, so they're not looking for the pool anymore. They know what they're doing out there. Kahana, Mossy and Andrew have spent the past few months in care at the Coin Island Turtle Rehabilitation Centre. They were found on beaches around the Capricorn Coast. We've had three turtles wash up uh, in, uh, in winter time uh, and they were both very underweight um, and they had some parasites. Uh, yeah, they were very, uh, very unhealthy. So we just cleaned them up, fattened them up uh, and treated them and, uh, and they went back into the ocean. The centre says it constantly sees animal injuries and deaths as a result of recreational fishing, with hooks and fishing line causing the most trauma. Marine life advocates are urging fishers to be more considerate to the animals around them and make the switch to biodegradable fishing line. Our shorelines and our oceans at the moment, our reefs are getting just massacred with fishing tackle. And, you know, it's, it's sort of overseen because you can't see the damage that you're leaving behind. This release marks 150 successfully rehabilitated green sea turtles at Coin Island. So that's a pretty you know, remarkable milestone. So we're you know, obviously extremely happy with it. Three more healthy little animals. With a final wave, the turtles are off and they're not looking back. Rachel McGee, ABC News, Emu Park.